Welcome back to Land the House. So the family and I are going to be going on a little uh, vacation in the next couple of weeks. And so I'm back out here with Ashley's car to get the oil changed. Uh, if you've watched the vlog for a while, you may have seen the video where I got mad with the underplate and threw it out in the yard. And it takes 30 to 40 minutes to get this off. It's going to the trash. Yeah, it's still gone. It saves uh, probably 30 minutes on this oil change. It's just ridiculous. I couldn't imagine the dealership having to remove that plastic undercarriage on every car that comes in. Uh, it'd be so annoying. So maybe they have some trick of bypassing it, but uh, my bypass was just toss it in the yard. Well, Emma and I are out here at the new Shelter Logic shed in a box. She's drinking a little bit of bottle milk. And uh, I think that I'm going to start putting some stuff in here. This took so long to set up and it's not even done yet. The uh, anchors bent and we couldn't get them in down here. And we're going to have to uh, find some way to get those down in there even better because that is just not going to work. And uh, I got a little blister there trying to get those in. But... Uh, for now, I've got the four-wheeler sitting on a piece of uh, unistrut, and it's holding this side down. Not the best solution, but it's working during this windstorm. I just stopped by my neighbor's house and he's gonna loan me his sprinkler because it's not supposed to rain for another week and uh, three weeks without rain is too much for the grass. So I've been giving you some periodic updates on what the ponds look like down here. Um, they have got them clean and now they are putting some concrete along the edges to help keep the water in. They believe there is a leak in uh, this side over here and it's running under this riffraff so they're gonna try and find that next but that stucco should really help keep the water in these ponds yeah that's much better than the sprinkler that I have it's hitting a range up there about 20 feet in a big old circle so about 40 foot total is definitely much better so I'm gonna let this run probably about eight minutes per spot and then move it down and just give the grass a chance. Um, hopefully it'll be able to grow and survive. I walked around the property until I found two pieces of one inch pipe and a coupling. And so now I'm going to be putting this together to make a pole in the door of the shelter logic. So it'll be much easier to roll this thing up. So hopefully I've got enough pipe here to make this worthwhile. I think I do. Should be pretty good. Well, sadly, it looks like one inch pipe is gonna be too much for that hole right there. Not to worry, I found nine feet of three quarter inch pipe. I mean, after all, I'm the ram pump guy on YouTube, right? I'm bound to have lots of PVC laying around. So let's see what we can do with this one. Set you down here. Oh yeah, that's better already. Okay, let's see what we got here. Looks like we're a couple inches short here on the other end, but just barely. Let's give it a try.
Oh yeah. That is so much better. Much quicker and a whole lot cleaner than the other way around. Definitely a hack you got to do. Em and I have stepped outside while Ashley gets ready for the day. And she's over here bouncing away. And I'm out here working on the ATV cart. Uh, axle's done. Just got the hinges on the bed. And I need to uh, add a couple more boards here um, because I'm going to be extending from uh, down here is going to be where the uh, wheelbase is. Um, you'll see that later on. But anyway, so uh, it's work in progress. Also pulled the half inch ram pump out of the creek because I'm going to be doing a test to see which one of the designs is better. The one that I sell or the, uh, the old design. Not so much better, just uh, more efficient. So it should be a pretty fun video. And so I have to take my linear model pump here and create the other style where the um, swing valve is on the other side of the pressure tank. And to do that, I couldn't find a threaded T at my local store, so I had to just get these. So things are going to be a little bit taller than I'd like. And I have to use a little piece of pipe here, but I think it should look pretty good. So I'll show you what it looks like here in just a second. And here is the other style pump. So the drive pipe connects down here, water comes up, passes this section, pops the valve here, comes back, and some of the wave will go up here, hit the pressure tank, and then come out the delivery pipe here. So we're gonna find out if this is gonna be a better design or the same or worse. I just took Emma to Ashley at work and the two of them are gonna go see Emma's grandmother, also known as Nana. And I went to the hardware store and got the last decking boards to finish up the ATV trailer side rails. And I got some uh, hinges and some other stuff to finish that up. But uh, I have some gas still in my lawnmower and I can't leave that over the winter or it will cause lots of issues with the, the mower. So I'm gonna step down here to the garden spot with the mower and use up the last of the gas that's in there and also prepare the garden spot for the Back to Eden garden that I have uh, plans for next year. So I'm gonna cut all the grass down so I can put more cardboard and straw down in there and then uh, leaves, so should be good. Well, I feel like that was a good accomplishment. I found lots of rocks trying to kill my mower. Yeah. Set those out of there. Well, I uh, got the grass cut, so it's ready for the cardboard and straw and leaves for the Back to Eden Garden next year. And uh, there's still a hill here I need to break down and spread out a little bit, but it's looking pretty good. And also, managed to get the gas out of the mower, so it is also ready for the winter. My neighbor has really been working hard on the ponds to get them sealed up, and as you can see, I think he's got them all the way done to the third pond down there. So, And this one is beginning to fill back up. I guess he's ready for it to start that. Um, he's not rerouted the full creek yet. Um, and once he gets everything done, I think he's going to come back where it's uh, got this rubber liner and rework that. Because the thought is, some of the creek must be seeping under the uh, rock and getting into the, the edge and just skirting around and never actually getting into the, uh, the pond here. Older, it's been a while, it makes me nervous. Uh, if you guys can just throw these out so that I can send them off to the American Heart Association, because that way, if you complain about me. Um... I had to go to a work meeting today, a CPR recertification, and I had to take Emma with me, and she really enjoyed playing with the little mannequin there. So Ashley just took Emma and they went to eat supper with a friend. And so I have a couple hours free to myself. And that means four wheeler ride. So I might bring you along for a couple clips of that. Man, it sure is nice to have this shelter logic versus the tarp I was using to cover this thing up. 
I'm about a mile away from the house. Uh, just came from that way. And normally I would just go that way and circle around for a while. But there's a trail here in the middle that I have never taken before and thought that I would go uh, explore and see where it goes to. Something tells me they don't want ATVs on this section of the trail. So, uh, <laughs> I guess I'll turn back. I think my neighbor was telling me about this, that uh, the person that lives down here, uh, somebody rode a four-wheeler through here and tore up their yard, and they did this, so, oh well. So, a long time ago, this whole area was logged, and there are trails all over. So I just uh, left the main road there on what appears to be an old logging trail. And uh, there's some stuff like this log over here that I'd have to move, but it might be cool to start making these old roads trail worthy. I'll have to check the, uh, the GIS mapping to make sure it's legal. Because uh, a lot of these places used to be roads, but no one's been on. So anyway, it's gonna be fun to uh, explore some of these one day. That was fun. I put about five miles on today and I uh, went up some pretty good hills and stuff, but definitely uh, fun. Spider stick saved me, I would say 15 to 20 times. It was really great. Uh-oh, got some mud. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that was a lot of fun. I also decided to uh, just take it up the hill in front of the house over here and it uh, did just fine. So I think it's gonna do well as a pull behind mower. Well, it is Wednesday evening and I believe I'm gonna go work on the ATV cart for a while. Uh, I'd like to have it done by next week. So I'm gonna do that and then Ashley will be back with Emma and we will probably get ready for bed. Thank you so much for being part of this week's vlog. I've enjoyed it. Next week I have something perhaps a little bit uh, different and uh, hopefully still entertaining. So I hope you enjoy that as uh, when it comes out. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. If you want to pump creek water for livestock or a garden, check out the Ram Pump. This amazing water pump requires no fuel and no electricity to work. Installation is quite simple. Just place the pump in the creek run a drive pipe to bring water to the pump, and install a delivery pipe to take water uphill. To start the pump, simply push this check valve down and it will begin on its own, running seven days a week, 365 days a year. To learn more about the Ram Pump, go to my website, landtohouse.com. I have four different size models for sale and lots of information. Now, if the Ram Pump is not your thing, Check out my YouTube channel, Land to House, where I have lots more content for you to enjoy.